everybody. We're getting ready to go on a scavenger hunt. What I'd like for you to do to prepare for the next class is to go and take several pictures, all based on one theme. Now, it doesn't matter what the theme is. Just make sure that you take several. For example, if you said, hey, I'd like to do some pictures of flowers, take several different types of flowers, different colors, shapes, sizes, and take them from different angles. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put them in an absolutely fabulous video slideshow. For my theme, I'm gonna take some pictures in downtown St. Mary's with my iPhone. And I'm gonna take you along for the ride. Ooh, God, I love that bright light. Let's see. Hey everybody, I'm in downtown St. Mary's and I'm gonna take a few pictures of the marsh as well as some of the plants in the area. Now you wanna talk about an absolutely beautiful mid-January evening. When you're taking pictures, be sure to zoom in and take a few, as well as take some at a distance. Sometimes things like shadows add real interest to your pictures. Don't be afraid to use the light to your advantage. The silhouette of the trees, absolutely gorgeous. And if you see something off the side that looks like it's interesting, go ahead and take a picture of it. Sometimes textures offer interest and they can make great presentation backgrounds too. Be sure to play around with focal points. Point of view makes a big difference in your photography. If you want to change a focal point in a picture or in a video, simply tap the area that you'd like the camera to focus on and watch the change in perspective. You'll also notice a difference in lighting. Sometimes the oddest things can make the most interesting compositions. Don't be afraid to get down on the ground to capture that winning shot. You also want to have horizontal and vertical shots. You can see that in the distance the sun is getting ready to go down, but there's still plenty of light to take the pictures. The amount of light you get in the camera will determine how dark or how light the picture is or the tonal value of the picture. Now if you want to take a picture of the sun in the background, you may want to experiment with your options and your focal points. Try pictures where you actually click on the sun itself and then try a few where you click on another area of interest and see how it changes. I got pretty lucky. It looks like it's low tide and there are a lot of interesting things on the marsh. Be sure to explore all different angles and take pictures from different points of view that give you different light settings. Notice that in this video, as I move the camera up and slightly angle it, the settings change. I had to take a video of this. Now that's a cool looking car. Who needs to use cheesy PowerPoint templates when you can make your own beautiful backgrounds? Okay folks, one last video before I go head to the Blue Goose for some coffee. It's January and although it is absolutely gorgeous outside, it's pretty darn cold.